The last thing that I want to cover in this module is Quick Analysis Tool. This is an add-on feature that was introduced in Excel version 2013. So in case if you are using 2010 or 2007, then you may not find irrelevant and you may want to skip this. So let me show you how it works. I select this entire data set. As soon as I selected, I would see this small icon here, which is the Quick Analysis icon. If I click on it, there are multiple categories with different sub options. For example, the formatting, charts, total, table, spark line. In case, if I click on this formatting, there are sub format options there, right? If I move this cursor in respective options, the back end you can see the formatting is working based on that criteria, right? And if I click on this chart, for example, if I click on this clustered column, see, based on this data set, the chart has been generated in separate sheet. The original sheet has been already here. You can see this. Again, I click on this. I'm just moving to the total section. Here you can see the different formulas like sum, average, count, total, running, total, etc. For example, if I click on this count, so I'm just click on this count, automatically count has been appeared. That is total data count is nine, right? That, that's the reason result is being generated as a nine. I'm just pressing undo button. In case I'm click on this again, go to total, I'm just clicking on the sum. See total sum of this marks is 608, right? I'm just clicking on control Z and I'm just clicking this option again. And under that you can see the table option, right? If in case I want to create a table on it, these are the things I will cover up in this upcoming sessions. And the final one, you can see the spark line option, right? If I click on this, there's three sub option is there. It's line, column, win and loss. For example, if I click on column, so based on this marks, this automatically will get varied. I'm just pressing undo, control Z. For opening Quick Analysis Toolbar, you can even click the shortcut key as Control Q. So based on your requirement and based on your work criteria, you can choose the respective options like this. Okay. So nothing of this option is new features. Everything is available through this inbuilt options. And the other ways that I would talk about later in this video course. And about this with detailed examples, I'll be covering in upcoming sessions. But this is just an add-on to make it really easy to access these options. You may find it this very useful, but a couple of students find it annoying. So this is nothing but an additional features that has nothing new except that fact that this is just making accessing these options quite easy that is in this video. I hope you found this very useful.